What's up, guys? This is going to be the blue spoilers. Uh, the first one I'm going to start off with is Tapion. Uh, Tapion's ability is uh, whenever it attacks, you get to look at the top five cards of your deck. And unless you add any blue uh, Trunks Youth, Hero, or Phantom Demon. So uh, this is actually a really uh, interesting ability because uh, you can look for three different things, uh, including a super combo. So the super combo out of this archetype is the Tapion protecting against the disaster. Uh, but this is a really generic uh, front side ability, uh, but you lose that ability once you go on the back side. So you're going to rely on your one drops uh, to look at the top five cards uh, for a Trunks Youth Hero or a Phantom Demon. In order for this leader to awaken, you do have to play a Harutagarn uh, with two or more energy. So Harutagarn is the one that you're going to use is going to be uh, this these two Harutagarns. Uh, they are meant for this leader uh, and also the Harutagarn leader out of this set. Uh, what this one does is you can pay it for one energy. Uh, draw a card if you have two or more energy and play this card from your hand and then place a Tapion from your deck uh, to the drop area. So you're going to need to send these uh, Tapions and also Minosha. The Minosha can be sent by this Harutagarn here, uh, Wandering Half Body. It also has Deflect. Uh, it allows you to send a Minosha that costs two or less from your deck and send it to the drop. So uh, and it also does the same thing where you're allowed to draw a card uh, if you have two or more energies when you do play it. So uh, the their, their abilities are a little different. This one lets you bottom deck any battle card on your opponent's side. Assuming that you uh, choose one of your hero cards on the uh, battle area and place it in the drop, uh, this one will get critical if you choose one of your blue hero cards and place it in the drop. Uh, and then it gets critical and then plus five cards, uh, 5k. So on the backside of this leader, uh, of course, you're going to be taking one, uh, uh, dr drawing one and switching uh, one energy to active mode, and then taking life uh, until you have six. On the backside is a pretty interesting ability, I would say, because it encourages you to combo a lot. Uh, so in order to combo a lot, uh, you're gonna have to be uh, you're, you're allowed to use the activate battle skill of this to use one of your blue hero cards with the energy cost of one from your drop uh, in a combo. So that's gonna allow you to proc the first ability whenever a card in your combo area is placed in the owner's drop area. You may play up to two blue hero cards from the energy cost of one from your combo area in rest mode. And if you do negate the skill for the turn, so you can use this on both players' turn. Uh, but most likely you're going to be able to harness the ability, uh, maximize the ability on your uh, on your own turn uh, because the, a lot of these uh, Tapions and Trunks bounce back the hero cards on the combo area uh, to, be, to, or to be able to play them. Uh, so if you don't use end up using those cards on the combo area or uh, the hero cards in your battle area, uh, then what happens is that uh, they get placed in the drop uh, with this leader's uh, ability. So... Uh, pretty strong leader, I would say, as a blue leader. Uh, but of course, uh, because uh, Android uh, 21 is still in meta, uh, I'd imagine this leader is not going to be used over Android 21 still. Uh, but let's go into the deck list real quick. So the SR of choice is going to be the really nice art uh, called the SS3 Sun Goku Wrath of the Dragon. Uh, much like the Bruce Lee movies, if you guys ever watch it. Uh, but this, uh, what this, this card does is that if you have two or more blue cards in your combo area, and you have three or more energy, and your leader is blue, so three stipulations. Uh, so if they're in the combo area, you can play this card from your hand for free, and then you have to switch one of your energy uh, to active mode. So this allows you to basically give blue the what is needed to be able to untap uh, energy on your opponent's turn, uh, as well as your turn as well. So you can actually use this card to extend your turn, uh, getting an extra energy uh, that you might need. So very, uh, very much a staple, I would say, uh, for blue uh, leaders in general. You activate battle and activate main, or activate main. Uh, you get to pay two blue energy to bottom deck anything, uh, ignoring barrier. And then you get to choose one of your cards that gets plus 10k power for the turn. So really, really strong, uh, as it is able to give your leader a plus 10k uh, for the whole turn so that you don't lose uh, life very easily. Uh, it also has the activate main, so on your turn, you can also snipe uh, yet another battle card on your opponent's turn. So really strong in there. Uh, very, uh, I would say this is going to be a sought-after SDR, uh, mainly because of the artwork, uh, but secondarily, it has a really strong skill as well. So uh, the turn, uh, the turn one plays. There's going to be a lot in this deck. Uh, you can. Uh, this is an old card that is out of the set, uh, but we're not going to look at this just yet. Uh, this is a new card, a Tapion, that allows you to basically look at the top five cards of your deck and add any Trunks Youth Hero or Phantom Demon with an energy cost of four or less. That's also blue. So a lot of uh, words there, but basically it makes it so that you can synergize. Using the backside of your leader, uh, you're going to be able to play this guy out from the combo area and then get a plus one. Uh, similarly, the uh, Minosha allows you to draw a card when it's played. So that means that you can use the backside of your leader to play this guy from the combo area and then get you a plus one so that they, when they come into rest mode, uh, you can then subsequently use it to bounce for uh, stronger cards. So an uh, ex example of this is uh, Trunk City Guardian. Uh, if you read the activate main here, you can pay one blue energy. 
Uh, and if your leader is a hero card, which is going to be a Tapion, they can choose one of your blue hero cards with energy cost of one and return it to its hand and then play this card from your hand. So this basically means that uh, by using all of your uh, city guardians, as well as the defense for disaster, as well as the trunks free attack, which is the promo that came out of the uh, from this set. Uh, so the promo here, it does the same thing as the City Guardian. It bounces back one of your one drops to your hand, and they get to play this card from your hand. So uh, in actuality, this leader, even though you're comboing a lot on the backside in order to proc the ability, uh, all the cards replace themselves, and then all the cards that uh, are played in rest mode go, go bounce back to your hand. So this leader can actually generate tons of advantage in terms of comboing because the cards in rest mode go back to your hand. So uh, the Unison, the Z Unison is actually pretty lackluster in my opinion. But it is actually necessary because what it does is that when it's played, you have to use cards in rest mode that are heroes uh, in a combo in, t in rest mode until the end of your opponent's turn. But it doesn't gain any markers. So that's kind of the thing I have against this uh, particular uh, Z Unison. Uh, the activate main is, is plus zero. You choose one of your heroic cards and KO it. Then you choose one of your blue hero cards with an energy cost of one and return it back to the hand. So another way you can uh, add cards that are heroes that are in rest mode from the backside of your leader. Uh, back to your hand so that you get advantage. And then unless you switch up to one of your energy to active mode. So a lot of untapping on your turn as well as untapping on your opponent's turn as well. Uh, utilizing the uh, SS3 SCR. Uh, the counter attack uh, play that you can use is the Trunks uh, Freestyle Movement. Cost of this card can get reduced to 1 basically if you have a, a blue hero card in play. And uh, this basically means that on your opponent's turn if you do play the 1 drops uh, using your leader ability. Uh, you can reduce this guy's cost down to 1 and then negate the attack limit 1. Uh, additionally, when it does get played, you get to place one of your one drop uh, hero drops, uh, hero cards, to the bottom of your deck, and then it uh, restands one of your energy. So this is basically kind of like a free negate in net value. So uh, you're paying one, but you get it back at the uh, same uh, same movement. Uh, and then the card that I uh, play, but uh, only a few, is the uh, SS Gotenks. There is a Goten that you can use uh, in tandem with this, but I found that the deck space was already tight as it is. So I chose to admit the Goten out of this uh, from the set because uh, the Goten only basically allows you to you proc the ability, uh, the middle ability of the, the Gotenks here, to be able to restand an energy. Uh, but it's kind of hard to do because you had to have Go Ten and uh, or Trunks in play. No need to play the Go Ten as uh, there's lots of searching as it is already. But uh, you can play this guy as an activate battle even on your opponent's turn as well. Uh, if you have two or more cards in your combo area, and then it lets you bottom deck any uh, six or less on your opponent's side. Uh, it also has deflect and dual tech, so kind of strong. But it's not your main finisher. Uh, your main finisher is going to be the Tapion and Trunks. Uh, respectful team up. It's a dual attack that can get double strike if you can put one of your heroes uh, to your back to your hand and it gets the plus 10 as well. So uh, for one battle you can get a double strike at 35k in. It also lets you bottom deck any battle card and you can play this guy for two energy uh, assuming you have three or more energy and two or more cards in your uh, battle area. So that's going to be pretty easy to do because your leader already kind of like um, makes the requirement easier. Uh, for you to play this guard out uh, on turn three. And then the other card you can play in this deck is the Tapion De uh, Defense for Disaster, which is another card that you can use in tandem with the Trunks to be able to bounce back the heroes uh, back to your hand. And then when it is played, uh, assuming your opponent has two more energy, uh, so you're able to snipe anything ignoring barrier with four costs or less. It also has inherently a double strike, so that's kind of useful as well. Uh, so to go back to this card here, uh, this card is an older card. It came out of set 14. Uh, it does basically the same thing that the this Tapion does. But it lets you look at a top five for a unison that specifies cost two. I didn't feel the need to play this, uh, the unison. Uh, the the unison you can play is the Android 17 and 18. Uh, you could play it, but I'm trying to uh, deter away from playing unisons as your deck already has a Z unison that you can play. But uh, you can, you're allowed to look for a hero or a Phantom Demon card with an energy cost of three or less. So this allows you to look for the Haruta Garn in the event that you don't have it in your hand. Um, so you can search for it and then play it. Uh, on turn two, because the turn two is going to allow you to awaken uh, with Tapion. Uh, the promo that was also announced recently was the Challenger for Disaster. This is a card that you could uh, pay for one energy, and then you can bottom deck your uh, Haruta Garn without uniquing it uh, and play this card. And then it allows it to draw a card and gain critical. So a really a strong promo, I would say. I only play two copies because Haruta Garn is kind of, um, how would I say this? Uh, it comes and goes. So because you're using the Trunks ability to KO this guy, 
uh, it's really hard to establish the second one because uh, you're going to be playing other cards uh, on the curve rather than playing the Heroic Guard. But you could technically play it, so that's why I only play two in the event that the game plan shifts uh, for this uh, particular deck. And uh, let's look at the Z deck here. Uh, this uh, Tapion, I only play one copy of it. Uh, it is a 15k for one energy card that you can bounce back any of your opponent's battle card. But after that, it's not really useful uh, in terms of the in terms of the archetype. It makes sense that they would play it because it is Z friend is it is Z unison friendly, so you can reduce the cost of this by one. Uh, but I'm gonna stick with the Mighty Blast engine, uh, the Black Kamehameha engine with the Mighty Blast, uh, the Cell, and then the two uh, Area Annihilator uh, Beerus. Uh, so that's enough of, uh, from talking for this uh, particular deck profile. I'm going to do the gameplay video in a few seconds, so stay tuned for that one. All right, this is going to be the gameplay video for Tapion. Uh, so let's try to get this over as quickly as possible. So we're going to draw the six cards here, and it looks like we already started off with the Minosha here. Uh, we're going to put away the D Magic uh, in the uh, in the interest of showing the deck and how it works. We're going to keep the Super Combo, and we're going to keep the Trunks here. So we're going to shuffle our deck here and draw two. And so we're going to put our life out here. Okay, first things first, we're going to charge an energy here. Uh, looks like we have two Minosha, so I don't think we need more than uh, one. Uh, and then we're going to pay the one energy here to play the Minosha. The Minosha is going to be able to draw us a card. We could use the Activate Battle if we have the Herudagar in place, but we don't. So on our opponent's turn, we're going to Z-charge this guy uh, to our Z-Energy. Uh, take our turn again, and then uh, draw for a turn. It uh, looks like we did draw the Tapion, so we're going to need that later. But I think we're going, to, uh, we're going to charge this one because it does have Double Strike, and we don't want to give our opponent too many cards uh, off the bat. So for the first thing we're going to do is pay the one energy uh, to play the Herudagarn. The Herudagarn is going to be able to send a Tapion from our deck to the drop. So that's going to be handy. So we're going to send this Tapion here as it is our uh, new uh, card that we can play. So that's going to be sent to the drop here. Uh, now if we want to, the backside doesn't draw. Uh, so what we're going to do is use this ability uh, by attacking first. And that's going to look at, look at the top five cards of our deck. Add a Trunks, Youth, Hero, or a Phantom Demon. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to look at the top five here uh, and add something that we uh, may or may not need. Uh, it looks like we do have the, the trunks here, but we also have a trunks here as well. So we're gonna add the uh, we're gonna add another Herudagarn here because uh, we are gonna probably KO this one uh, for this particular turn here. Okay, so in mid combat, we're actually gonna awaken here. We're gonna awaken and then untap one, and then we're gonna draw one and take life until we have six. All right, here's where things get interesting. We're gonna use try to use this uh, activate battle here to combo a hero from our drop area that costs one. Uh, since we did uh, drop this in our, our drop area, thanks to our Herudagarn, uh, we can actually combo it now. So in order to proc the auto ability of the first skill, we need at least three cards in our combo area. So we're going to combo away something from our hand. We're going to combo away uh, this Tapion here. And then we're going to combo away uh, yet another Tapion. So in order for the ability to proc, one of them has to uh, go to the drop area. So at the end of combo, at the end of battle, we're going to send this out to the drop. And then that's going to proc our uh, Tapion ability uh, to play these guys out for free. So these guys are played, and then don't forget to proc the ability, so uh, both of them are top 5 anyways, but make sure you specify to your opponent which one you're activating uh, and resolving first. So we're going to activate this one first uh, to look at the top 5, because uh, this one looks for, uh, I think, I believe, more cards, because this one looks for, for Trunks Youth, and this one does not. So we're going to add the Trunks Youth first, um, that costs 4 or less. Uh, let's add the Negate one, uh, or actually let's add the Super Combo, because... Uh, there's nothing wrong with adding more super combos after all. We're going to shuffle the deck, and then we're going to use this ability again. And then we're going to look at the top five cards again. Okay, and it looks like we have access to a, any of the three or costs or less. So we're going to add a Herudagarn. Okay, after we add the Herudagarn, we do have the two energy open as well. Uh, so we're going to have to find a way to play our Z units in this turn. So uh, first things first, we're going to we're gonna attack with this Herudagarn here. We're not going to use the ability to send a hero monster to the drop. So we're just going to swing for 15 here. After that, we're going to pay the two energy to pay the Minosha to the drop area. And then we're going to play the Z Trunks. Okay, now that the Z Trunks is in play now, uh, we can actually use the ability to uh, allow us to combo hero cards in rest mode uh, until the end of our opponent's turn here. So uh, we're going to use the ability here to KO the Herudagarn, and that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to return a hero card uh, with energy cost of one uh, to back to our hand. Uh, so we're going to turn this one and then restand an energy. Okay, so from uh, here we can actually pay the one more energy here uh, to play one of the trunks. We can play this trunks or this trunks. Uh, since we're going to need a Z energy to recharge, we're actually going to play this trunks here. So the City Guardian is going to come down here and uh, it's going to return our uh, two costs or one cost uh, hero back to your hand. And then we're actually going to attack with the uh, trunks here and then he's going to be able to combo a card from our uh, drop area. Uh, we're going to combo right a Harudagarn so that we can have Harudagarn into the Z energy here. <laughs> 
and then we can also swing for uh I forgot I got the markers here we can actually swing for uh, 15k as well so this is what your board should look like at the end of turn two on our opponent's turn uh we're most likely going to uh take the damage so our unison uh in this archetype does not have a blocker uh that you can just play uh as we've seen in red as well as black uh, to have blockers to be able to intercept the unison swing uh but most likely the uh since the the design of the blue seems to not have any markup for the blue it makes it seem like they're not trying to protect the uh, the unison after all yeah so that we're gonna let the uh, unison die most likely is gonna die here uh because we can't really save it uh so that's what's gonna happen the trunks has 15k so most likely is also gonna die too so worst case scenario everything happened uh so we do have the ability to uh play uh more cards out so uh what we're gonna do here is charge our tapion because uh, we already have two copies of this in our hand. At this point, uh, since this uh, leader is an attack, it, it draw it draw pl gets a, a plus uh, two uh, in a very unique way. So we're going to swing with this first. Uh, combo a card from our drop area. So we're going to combo a Minosha because it does allow us to draw cards. And then we're going to combo a uh, we're going to combo this Tapion as well, as well as comboing away this Tapion. So we're going to be swinging in for thirty. Uh, we're going to proc the ability to send this off to the drop because at the end of the combo step. And then we're going to play both of these. Uh, first things first, I always want to proc the draw ability because you don't know what you need after the draw. And then we're going to look at the top five here to look for a uh, phantom demon, hero, or a blue trunks. Uh, let's add this tapion because it is a five cost or lower because it's only a specified four cost or lower. So we're going to add this uh, tapion first. And then we're going to shuffle our deck. All right, so now we have two bodies on play. Uh, we were able to generate plus ones, but if we can return them back to our hand, that's even better. Uh, let's see what here. So in order to play this guy, we need a Hrudegarn. Uh, to keep it different, we're gonna actually going to play this Hrudegarn, which allows us to dump a Minosha. And we're going to dump the Minosha to the drop here uh, so that we can continue our plays with the, uh, with the Unison. So from here, we're going to attack with this uh, by... Uh, placing either the hero to the drop to uh, bottom deck a card. Most likely we're going to use that ability because opponent's going to have something. Uh, so we're going to bottom deck, or we're going to send the hero to the drop. Uh, let's send off the tape on here because we won't be needing it. So we have a way to eliminate uh, boards off of our opponent's side. Uh, and then we're also able to draw a card. I believe I did that already. Okay, from here we do have a Z energy that we can play for a second unison. Uh, let's try to do that ability actually because the unison ends up costing only one uh, in net. So we're going to play the unison again, and this is going to allow us to uh, KO our uh, Hrudgarn in rest mode so that we could uh, return the uh, Monosha back to our hand and then restand an energy. Uh, from here, we could just pass because uh, on the opponent's turn, they're going to have cards that they can use uh, to basically hit us. So we're going to need the one energy here so that we can at least uh, use the counterplay the counterattack, we didn't draw it. So we could pass the turn here, but uh, we don't have a negate anyways. So we're gonna use the one energy here uh, to play a card here. Let's play a, yeah, so this is gonna be the end of our turn three. Blue is a control color, so we can use the control element of this uh, leader so that we can play stuff out. So most likely your opponent's gonna go after the unison again, uh, and then you're probably gonna take some life at this point, uh, cause turn three is pretty, uh, uh, pretty much the turn where everyone starts attacking you. Uh, and then you also have the super combo live. Let's make it so that super combo is live because you need to have four or less. Uh, we're going to start our turn again and then draw for turn. Looks like we drew one of our uh, boss monsters. So we're going to charge uh, this card right here. And then we're going to swing with Tapion. And then use the ability to combo cards out of our drop. So we're going to combo away uh, this uh, Minosha, I believe. Yeah, we're going to combo away Minosha. Uh, and then we're going to combo away a uh, Tapion. Actually, we're going to combo away two Minoshas here. And then combo away a super combo. Since well, we don't want to lose cards in our hand. Okay, so at the end of the turn, uh, at the end of the combo, we're gonna send this to the drop. Uh, we're gonna play both the Minoshas here, uh, and then draw us two cards. So we get our uh, pluses. And then from here, uh, we want to be able to play this card so we can demonstrate what this card does. So we're gonna pay the two energy here uh, to play this and uh, be able to dual attack bottom deck a card. So we're gonna place this back in our hand here to get it a plus uh, 10k in double strike. And it's going to attack again for 25k base. Uh, we can also use the ability of any of our other trunks. Let's play the uh, Tapion that we haven't played before. This allows us to return one of our one drops back to our hand. And then this allows us to KO our, an opponent's battle card that has four or less ignoring barrier. And so it also has double strike, which is uh, really nice as well. 
Uh, let's see what else we can do here. Okay, we can actually pass here. Uh, on our opponent's turn, we could use the D-Magic to gain an extra energy. We can also use his ability to combo cards from our drop area. So let's combo away a Tapion here because we haven't done that yet. And then we're actually going to combo more cards. Let's combo away a Minosha. And then we can also use the Super Combo as well. So combo it. Okay, so we're going to combo the Super Combo, draw a card, send us off to the drop. And then we're actually able to play these two out. Uh, before we play these two out, we can actually play the Gotenks here. Uh, so let's try to do that play here. Uh, we're going to pay the two energy to play this uh, as an activate battle because it says here when you have two more cards in your combo area, uh, you can play this guy out. So this actually allows you to switch an energy at the end of your turn, uh, but it's not the end of your turn, so you're probably pretty much going to play these guys out and uh, they're going to proc their abilities on your turn and then be able to look at top five. And then don't forget that you do have the Z, uh, the D magic so that you can untap energy uh, on your opponent's turn. We're going to add the uh, Harutagar into our hand. Because uh, we might need it later. So we have this guy that was able to bottom deck one of our opponent's battle cards. It costs six or less. And then uh, we can also use a D magic here to take a life if we need it. Because we do have sparking five uh, to negate. And we can also use uh, the trunks here to negate something for free. Because you do have a hero in play. And it's going to pay one and then you retap uh, on top of the energies. Sort of like Whisk Coercion uh, in a lot of ways. And then you also have to choose a, a hero and place it on the bottom of your deck. So let's place back a uh, Tapion. Uh, back to the bottom of our deck. So now we have a 15k beater, a 25k beater that could attack twice. Uh, so really strong already. Uh, let's see. So so we've already been through all these cards. Um, let's see what we can do in our Z. We could play the Mighty Blast, but we can also play the Tapion. Uh, but we're actually going to add the um, the Goku here to kind of demonstrate how the deck works uh, if you had the SCR in your hand. So if you it's still your opponent's turn and you had this guy, uh, you can essentially use this guy when you play this guy uh, to re-stand energy because uh, that's what he does. And it also prevents your opponent from playing battle cards for the whole turn, including yourself. So you can actually re-stand your energy. Uh, you don't have to actually rely on D-Magic and take a life. So we can actually uh, circumvent using the D-Magic and take a life and then put this back in our hand. So this allows us to basically KO one of our opponent's cards and then give your leader a plus 10. And this also makes it so that uh, on your turn again, uh, your leader can get an extra 10k. So the Tapion is going to be hitting pretty hard, I would say. And also allowing to you to board control is a really nice uh, feature of this uh, leader. So we're going to activate the D-Magic, etc. So by turn 5, which is Blue's territory, turn 5 or more, you can just pretty much uh, guess that uh, the deck can pretty much generate a ton of advantage already and also being able to uh, send these off to the drop, sorry. Uh, put pretty big bodies that are pretty uh, easy to uh, gain value. Uh, let's look at our uh, deck, see if we have anything else we have not played yet. Yep, by the looks of it, we've already played everything out. So that's pretty much how the deck kind of flows uh, for the first tur two or the two or five turns. Uh, you can kind of understand how the deck kind of works. You kind of bounce the heroes that are in rest mode so that you can gain them back in your hand and then play cards out. And those cards actually uh, take away cards from your opponent, such as the Tapion. And this one also takes away cards from your opponent. So battle cards are uh, basically uh, going to be in trouble uh, against this particular blue leader. And then you're also able to uh, put on a lot of pressure because they have uh, high stats and dual attack. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and that was all that I'll uh, commentate for this particular leader. Uh, overall, I think this leader is an okay leader. However, Android 21 is, is still in the Android 21 shadow uh, because it is still the better blue leader. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.